Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, right, so if any of you have got a Nissan X-Trail or a Cash Guy, but in this case a Nissan X-Trail, um, it's a 1.6 2017. We've had it for about a year now. Um, I've literally just opened the door to the car, obviously, <laughs> and uh, I've gone to turn the car on. So if you do own one, you'll know that uh, you depress the clutch and you press your stop start button. Um, sorry for all the dust. So I've depressed the clutch, I've pressed the stop start button, and this happens. So, to me, it seems like there's a battery problem. However, I've read a few forums, and the forums are saying it's a, there you go, a stop-start system fault. Now, I don't know whether, I don't know whether the stop-start is just supposed to be there, it's just, it's just there, or, and then, and then it just says system fault. I'm not sure, but it keeps saying stop-start system fault, so... I turn off my stop start and then I'll do it again focusing is awful on this camera it's probably picking up all the dust before anything else <laughs> proper mess so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to see if I can give the battery a quick charge and see if that rectifies the problem. If not, I'm going to have to get the mechanic out, aren't I? All right, I'll see you in a minute. So as you can see, I've got the jump leads on connected to my battery. One thing you've got to remember is the car that you're charging your car off has to be either the same um, size or literage, or the same power, or more, I don't know how to say it, something that I've just learned right now because I was just going to try and jump it off with a 1.2. <laughs> um, so yeah, every day is a learning day. I did try and jump it off with a leisure battery out of the caravan, but the leisure battery I've got isn't as powerful as what this battery is, so I think all the charge out of the car has just dropped into the leisure battery um, because now nothing works, my key's not, um, my key's not recognised or anything, so... I hope he hasn't damaged that, I'll have to test that later, but yeah, let's leave this to run for 10-15 minutes and see where we go. So one thing that I was told um, by a friend of mine who's a mechanic, he said, before you disconnect this car with the car out there, before I disconnect this car, I have everything on, so like, I've got my indicators on, I've got my blowers on full tilt, I've got the radio on, or I've just turned the volume down, I've got all the windows open, um, all the interior lights are on and everything. He said because you can trip the car out or something, um, I'm not too sure, but it's something worth um, looking into before you do disconnect your car. So what I've done, I've literally only been running it for about five minutes, all the electrics have started again, so we're just going to see if it starts, I'm going to push my clutch in, Press the button. And there we go. The car has started. So it was a flat battery. So that, when it comes up on the dashboard, um, the stop start fault, I've looked at loads of threads and people have taken it to the dealership and everything and the, the changing parts on the car and um, saying it's a problem with the clutch. So yeah, just know that um, it is just a low battery. I don't know how I've drained this battery. I have no idea. It might be something to do with the dash cam. I wouldn't have thought that that'll will drain the battery. I thought all new cars totally switched everything off if you left them on after a after a little amount of time. So I've done something. I don't know what I've done. I might have a faulty battery. I might have a faulty alternator if there's an alternator in this car. I don't know now with all these new cars. There might be something wrong there. Um, so yeah, that's the way I've done it. That's the way I've got it started. I'll just try and make sure that I don't do it again whatever I've done because that has been a nightmare we were due to go out to uh, up to North Yorkshire today just to have a little walk around 
um, for the wife's birthday. Dying happening. <laughs> so yeah. Cheers for watching. If you have the same problem, don't hesitate to, to ask any questions on here because I'm sure there'll be other people who've got problems. You can have a little chat. Um, check forums. Most of the forums that I uh, looked at literally just said all the same thing that there was a either a fault with the battery or a fault with the um, clutch because you know when you're driving and you sometimes you just rest your foot on the clutch and it rides the clutch and when you stop at traffic lights and you stop start don't quite kick in and that's why the stop start problems coming up but what happened with me was the stop start came up with a fault as you've seen at the start of the video and then while I was trying to tick it over and sort of trying to problem solve see where things are wrong I used the leisure battery which obviously wasn't up to the job because um, I'd read somewhere that you can use a leisure, leisure battery to jump it off but obviously the top end ones, the ones with loads of power and this just dropped all its charge, this battery off this car dropped all its charge into the leisure battery so I probably damaged that and then the car, because it's keyless entry, didn't recognise the key so I thought I was in a right street then but yeah, she's working I think I'm going to take her for a little drive just around the block see if it can charge up a little bit I'm not going to be too far away from a set of jump leads <laughs> alright see you later